Hey food fans, welcome back to another episode of Then We Eat. Much like last week, this week's a holiday episode as well, and we'll be all taking part. It's New Year's now, so of course, we've got to make cocktails for New Year's. So, first up is me, and I'll be making a Clementine Cosmopolitan. And I'll be making a chocolate martini. And finally, I'm going to be making a barbecue Caesar. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make a simple syrup. Not a big deal. Cup of water. I'm going to use about two-thirds of a cup of sugar. I don't like them t really sweet so I cut back on the sugar a bit. So we're going to go ahead and add that to the pan and while we're waiting for that to come up I've got three clementines here that I've quartered and we're just going to squeeze them and drop them in the pot. All right so we'll just get this cooked for a bit. We'll be uh, about 10 minutes with this. All you want to do is just have it simmer for a bit and thicken up. Okay, so we've been about 10 minutes and uh, it's thickened up some, not a ton. Um, the smell is amazing. It just, the clementine smells so good boiling away here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn it off. We're going to strain it out and let it cool and then I'll come back and finish making the cocktail. Okay, so we've got the uh, clementine simple syrup all cooled down and let's go ahead and make our cocktail. So the first thing we're going to do is add our simple syrup mixture. All right, so we got our, our uh, clementine simple syrup in. Then we're to that, we're going to add about a quarter cup of lime juice. In my case, it was three limes, but they were pretty tiny limes. And you can normally get away with two. So that's fresh lime juice. We're going to add a half a cup of cranberry juice. And then finally, one cup of vanilla vodka. And hopefully it's all going to fit has in the past, so we're assuming it will this time. There we go. And I've got a martini glass here that we just took out of the freezer, so we'll pour it into there. And then for garnish, we'll just put a little piece of clementine on the side. All right, so let's give it a taste. Mm. Vodka would work in this, but I can tell you that the vanilla vodka with the clementines makes a really, really big difference. So I should point out too, the, if you uh, are looking for something that's not so potent as the Cosmopolitan, the other thing you can do is put it in a highball glass and add some club soda to it. It's just as good. And uh, you can have a few more of them than if you're just drinking it this way. That is absolutely delicious. So don't forget, first we mix, then we drink. Mm. Happy New Year, folks. I hope you all have an amazing, amazing 2024. And now, let's leave it up to Debbie. And I guess it's my turn for my trick. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to rim our glass. I've got some chocolate sauce on a plate. I've also gone ahead and shaved down some dark chocolate. If you only have milk chocolate, that's fine. I like the dark chocolate. I like the bitter contrast. And I don't want it too sweet. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our glass that's been in the freezer make sure that it's as cold as you can get it the colder the better and we're just going to rim the top of it in the chocolate sauce make sure you get it over the whole rim of the top and then put it in your chocolate shavings should look just like that now I'm going to put this back in the freezer to keep it cold while I'm making the drink. I'll be back in just a minute. I've got my shaker. Again, it's been in the freezer. You want to make sure that it's nice and cold. And to that, I'm going to add three ice cubes. You can add more if you want. You don't want to add too many ice cubes because you will need to be able to mix this around. And you want to have at least three ice cubes because if you don't have too many in there, it won't stay cold. To our shaker, we're going to add one ounce of vodka, one and a half ounces of Kahlua. I'm using regular Kahlua. You can get flavored stuff. If you like the flavored stuff, you can use it. I'm just going to stick with the regular stuff. One and a half ounces of Irish cream. 
Again, I'm using PJs. You can use Baileys. Again, you can use a flavored Irish cream if you'd like, or you can use, just use the regular. I'm gonna add two ounces of milk and one kitchen spoon full of chocolate syrup, just for extra flavor. Once you've given it a good mix, you just pour it into your glass. I'm gonna get that from the freezer now. My martini mix does come with this handy strainer. You just put it over the top and pour, and you won't get any of the ice. If you wanna get fancy, you can add a little bit of the chocolate crumbs that you rimmed the top in, and there you have it, one chocolate martini. You want it to be cold when you drink this. And the other thing is, you don't want too many of these because they can be very dangerous. Cheers. Oh, that is so good. Oh, the Baileys and the Kahlua mix with the milk. It is so good. So cheers, happy new year. Now let's pass the, the video on to Chris for his drink. So Debbie and Steve made New Year's Eve drinks. Mine is probably more of a New Year's Day drink. More of a breakfast kind of a thing after kind of trying to cure a hangover. So we're gonna make a Caesar here today. In the US they call them Bloody Marys. It's made with vodka and tomato juice. In Canada we call them Caesars. It's made with vodka and clamato juice. Basically tomato juice, but there's some clam juice in it as well. Today, however, mine's gonna be quite a bit different than a traditional Caesar. Instead of just making a Caesar with vodka, I'm gonna be making one with whiskey, and I'm gonna be adding a bold and spicy barbecue sauce to it as well. And then instead of a pickled bean, I'm gonna be using a pepperette. So, first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna put some celery salt on a plate so that we can rim our glass with celery salt. If you have Caesar rimmer, you can use that. We don't. Celery salt is basically the same thing, so I'm just gonna use the celery salt instead. Next up, we're gonna take a quarter of a lime. We're gonna rim the edge of our glass. Then we'll take our glass and we'll just run it around the celery salt until the whole outside of the glass is nice and rimmed up. Next up, couple ice cubes. We need some lime juice, so I'm just gonna take the quarter of lime that I had to rim the glass. We're gonna squeeze that, get the juice out of it, and then you can just leave the lime in the glass. Ounce and a half of rye, two teaspoons of barbecue sauce, and four ounces of Clamato juice. Add a pepperette to the side of the glass, and there you have it. So let's give it a shot and see how it tastes. Mmm, that's really, really good. That barbecue sauce is fantastic in there. This is a very, very good drink. If you're looking for a little hangover cure after New Year's Eve, I highly recommend one of these. So that's it for this video. Hit like if you liked the video. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Share it with all of your friends and let us know down in the comments below. Which one of the three videos was your favorite? Or better yet, what's your favorite New Year's Eve drink? Oh, and don't forget, first we mix, then we drink. Mmm, so good. Happy New Year, everyone.